Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what the record is, but yeah, I know I know they beat us early in the year, an extra time, and um, I think they've beat us a couple times before that. So I think they're all sort of it's all been pretty close games, tight games. But um, as I said, you know they're they're a good, they're a good footy team, and um, yeah, it'll uh, going to be tough opposition tomorrow night. Apparently, they're the most offloading team in the competition, so I guess like yeah, defence is going to have to be on their game. Yeah, we're going to have to keep keep moving, obviously. Uh, they move the ball around a lot, and uh, also, you know, they and they move the ball a lot after offloading. You know, they it's like they sort of planned offload. To be quite honest, you know, they get people in the position to accept the offloads, and and then they move the ball from there. So, yeah, you know, that's that, that that's hard to handle. It's hard to handle for long periods of time in games, and but that's yeah, that, that's the way they play their games. So, and so yeah, it is hard to defend. What's the key to the things that came out of your review? No, we, yeah, we got off to a really ordinary start, and then um, yeah, I was real proud of the way they hung in after that. You know, we, we were I think they had about 70% of the ball after 20 minutes, so that would have tied us a fair bit, I, I, I would imagine. But um, you know, to come back and and hang in there for the rest of the game, I thought it was a really good effort. You know, it obviously, it would have been nice to uh, to get over the line at the end, but there was certainly plenty of effort in there, and um, there were some good signs after that, you know, first 20 or 30 minutes. Well, this game is obviously, you know, there's a lot at stake. Uh, I mean, you don't have a choice either way, but is it a good way to kind of go into the finals? Like, <laughs> playing an extra uh, final? You probably ask me that next week, Mel. I, I'm not quite sure, you know. Like, at the end of the day, it's, um, as you say, there, there's a bit riding on it, but at the same time, it's not like you're going to miss the finals. It's uh, just, you know, a couple of positions in the finals, but obviously it's a big difference between, you know, fourth and fifth getting the two, um, you know, the two shots and then only, then you're know, in, in the su sudden death if you're fifth. So, um, but having said that, like I say, we, um, we don't want to be putting all of our, um, you know, coins in the one basket here. We, we just got to make sure that, um, you know, we, we continue our effort from last week in the last 60 minutes and hopefully we can do it for 80, you know, that's, that's a big thing for us. Obviously, Nelson's been in the news this week for tackling techniques. Are you concerned that he might be targeted by the refs tomorrow? I, I, I don't know how how that is. At the end of the day, he's but he has been charged some times, but they you know he hasn't been suspended a lot. So at the end of the day, that's you know the committee that puts the charges out. Um, they haven't seen seen it as that. Um, Severe, I suppose that they that they've given him weeks. So, like, I I think it's just, it's just a bit of a again, it's it's he's certainly got some charge there where he's been fined. But if they, if they thought it was serious enough, that they would have suspended him. So, at the end of the day, it's um, yeah, like, like you you can take that from there. So. Given the, the media attention, yeah, it, it, up there, you know, it always has some sort of impact on the rest. Well, it, it might. I, I I hope not, but it might. I I, I don't know. I, I won't be able to tell you that until after the game. Do you need to, like, obviously, if it happened again, he probably, I guess his chances might be up. Like, do you need to kind of say to him? Uh, uh, well, I say he hasn't been, he hasn't been suspended. He's he's been fined, and so there's been a lot of other guys fined. And there was a guy that got four weeks in last week's game. We're not talking about him. We're talking about Nelson. So at the end of the day, we, we want Nelson to play his footy. You know how, how he, he plays and when he plays well, um, and. Yeah, you know, that, that's what we need to continue with. Do you want to see more from Jesse? How have you rated his oh, no, performance season? Yeah, I thought he was a bit quiet there for about a month, but I think he's, um, his form the last month has been pretty good. I think um, when he went over for the test match, um, I think uh, that was a, a very emotional game for, for all the Kiwis. Um, you know, it was the first game in New Zealand for you know, two years, I think. So, um, yeah, so I think he might have felt a little bit flat after that, but I think the last month he's done a great job. and He's done a great job this year as our captain. You know, like the start of the year, we didn't want to put a whole heap of pressure on him, you know, as far as the leadership. And, you know, having Christian as his co-captain, but getting injured in the first game, you know, again, Christian's still been around off the field, but, um, you know, just really hasn't had that sort of support on the field. So he's done a tremendous job for us. A lot of these guys are heading into their last yeah. Do you get a bit, you know, nostalgic about it all, or is it still business as usual? 
Yeah, oh, you, you like to keep it business as usual, but um, yeah, like these guys have done a great job for the club, you know, especially the Bromwiches. Like they've been here, you know, 14 years. They come here as kids and they're leaving as, you know, fathers and husbands, you know. So, um, yeah, like I say, we, we've seen them do a lot for the club. We've seen them do a lot for the other players in the club. And, yeah, like I say, they'll, doesn't matter what happens in the next, with it, the rest of their career, for us, or well, for me especially, you know, they'll always be um, fondly remembered, but also remembered for, you know, the great input that they've had, you know, into this footy club for, for a long period of time. Um, Mitchell Moses has obviously been in pretty good form. I know he yeah, well, obviously, you know, we're hopefully we're aware of what what he's doing and what he's capable of doing, and you know, he's capable of doing you know a lot of good things. You know, he's he's, he's getting himself heavily, probably a little bit more involved than he has uh, probably in the past, and his speed um, is the thing that sort of can worry you. You know, so um, obviously he's got a really good kicking game as well. So um, you know, we'll have to be be very aware of where he is and you know what he's up to, and hopefully we can. Um, just blunt a bit of his effectiveness. Would you like to have Murray Corabetti back in your side? Did you see oh, I've seen, I've seen that effort the, the other night, um, or the other day. I didn't actually see it live, but um, yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty much Marika though. He's, um, you know, he doesn't do anything unless it's flat out, you know, and uh, that's a, it was a great example of, you know, any young footy player on, you know, how you can change a game with an effort. Um, you know, just putting effort in. You know, he didn't have to, didn't have to know too much about the rules. He didn't have to know too much about you know tactics and technical. It was just, it was just about effort and then a bit of aggression at the end. You know, and um, as I say, that's what turns footy games. And um, that was a great example for anyone, especially young players. And um, you know, you don't have to be especially talented. And that's I'm not saying about Rika, but you know, you put the effort in in your games and um, you know. You, You'll come up with some big plays. Ah, uh, well, I think they would have saw it before me. Like <laughs> yeah. again, I ain't seen it on. Someone said to me on text on not on social media, so I, I would imagine it was all over there. So, yeah, I think you know the players would have seen it before I did.